Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us for the 3CX Chats and WhatsApp presentation. Uh, just to introduce myself, I'm Craig. I'm part of the Solutions Architecture team here at multi Anthony and Telephony Solutions. Um, we'll be discussing 3CX in a little bit of detail, as well as a lot of the chat feature functionality, whether it be from Facebook, SMS, as well as WhatsApp, which is the latest new integration um, admitted into 3CX. So today we're just going to discuss a little bit about it, demonstration of how the 3CX and WhatsApp integration works. I'll actually send a WhatsApp integration and you can actually determine how to utilize this for your business as well. Um, we'll run through the setup after that, um, which will take us into all the aspects. There's quite a nice detailed checklist um, available, which will be shared uh, in the chat for this. And that's going to allow you to set up all the requirements on the Facebook side, Facebook uh, Meta slash Meta owning WhatsApp, and that's the requirement that we need to set up on the, the API developer side to be able to do this integration. Perfect. So to jump into it, a little bit about 3CX and multi-IT and telephony solutions. Uh, 3CX is one of the top five global PBX uh, rating. It's been certified with multiple awards throughout the years. Um, it's we are currently the leading 3CX provider in Southern Africa, uh, catering to just over 14 million minutes inbound and just over 12 million minutes outbound um, currently on our host of 3CX Solutions. Uh, the company itself was founded in 1986 and we're hosting our 3CX in the leading data centers. Um, we're a Platinum 3CX partner. We're fully certified from uh, certified engineer, intermediate certified, as well as advanced certified. And we've got multiple engineers uh, certified on each of those tiers. Um, we've also got 100% hosted 3CX PBX retention, which is incredibly impressive and something we're quite proud of that we've managed to achieve uh, even through COVID. Um, and the need for a unified communications platform is evident in that. Um, so first into that, uh, just familiarity with the 3CX chat functionality. If you're using the 3CX web client, um, it is available to you here. If you're using the 3CX uh, Windows client, uh, I will pull that across so you can see it's actually available to you right here and you can actually select the chat functionality in it. I personally prefer the web client version of it, so that's what we'll be sticking to. Um, and again, this integration works the exact same way, whether it be Facebook, whether it be um, uh, SMS or whether it be 3CX itself. So what's nice about this is you can actually create your own um, environment that allows you to create your own QR code, your own link to WhatsApp, and that links directly into it. So a client can connect, uh, uh, select that link, whether it be on a Facebook post, whether it be on your email signature, and they can just send an S uh, a WhatsApp through to you saying something like that. So whether that be the case, you'll see here, I've just now sent myself a WhatsApp that says hello, and that WhatsApp comes in through to our 3CX chat. I can then choose to select that, or I can just select the chat from here, and I can say reply to that chat. So here it's got hello demo, and from the 3CX chat itself, I can actually see that this came in from WhatsApp, and I can say, hi, Craig, I am messaging myself, and it did pick up my contact address here. And you can see the agent has now taken that chat, and it's actually showing who did it, and the reporting is available on that as well. Um, so when you're pulling reports on it, you can see how many agents and how many WhatsApps you're getting per uh, per uh, an agent. You can actually pull reports on those stats. You know how many messages were sent through. Those stats are available to you as well on the the Facebook API integration platform, which we'll go into as well. Um, should the agent particularly need to get it, and one of the quite nice, uh, powerful features of 3CX is, I can actually transfer this chat through to a particular agent. So say I was saying I am looking for Tanya. So say the customer was looking for Tanya, and you can say, not a problem. You can actually then transfer this chat. So to do so, you would just simply select this transfer chat. You can actually select the name of the person that they're asking for, and I can actually transfer that chat through to Tanya. Um, we're not going to do that just for the purpose of the demonstration. Should they say uh, something along the lines of, please, can you call me? Perfect, sent that through. So say the client's now said, please, can you call me? And we say, not a problem. We're going to then select this here, and we can actually then dial that number. So just by clicking it, it'll pop up our 36 client and actually dial, uh, it was dialing me, um, and it will actually dial the client so you can have that engagement. So you can immediately elevate that call just from doing WhatsApp conversations, uh, 
directly through to actually calling them because you've already got their contact details, their mobile number, um, and it's quite a nice thing to do. Um, you can then decide to either leave the chat option or you can actually just say dealt with, in which case it'll go into it and it's been moved away. You can also then choose to archive a particular chat if you wanted to potentially engage with that client later. Some of the important uh, aspects to note of the WhatsApp integration is you unfortunately cannot initiate the conversation with the client um, unless you've archived it. That's considered the way that you would be able to initiate it. Um, but what you can do is only respond to the clients when they inquire through to you. So very, very good on the inbound aspect. Um, unfortunately, at this stage, you are not able to initiate the calls. So should you choose to select a new chat, um, you can choose to do so via SMS, but you cannot choose to do so via WhatsApp at this stage. Um, further to that, we'll then run through how to actually set up the WhatsApp integration to use lies on the PBXs. So 3CX has developed quite a comprehensive and inclusive guide uh, to run through it, and you'll see the, the prerequisites are quite uh, clear. It's not too difficult to set this up. Um, this will then take you into the developers aspects of Facebook Meta, uh, which has the WhatsApp side of it, which we'll delve into on this side. Um, that allows you to, to do the entire setup. It's as simple as owning a number. You literally enter that number into the WhatsApp quick start section, which will then allow you to verify the number. The verification is very, very simple. You're simply going to choose your phone number. Once you've entered it, Facebook will send either an SMS. If you don't have the capacity for SMS on that number, you can actually choose to um, have it as a phone call. It'll phone you through with the six digit verification code. You enter the six digit verification code into the Facebook side. Um, and here you can see um, it'll give you a nice status overview. This is all contained within the Facebook meta side of it um, that's available to you here. And the configuration through from there, most of our clients uh, will be able to have this feature. Um, there's no, uh, none of our hosted clients that should have any limitations on this. It would simply be just submitting a support request through to us and we can then assist you with the setup and the, the implementation of it. Um, Perfect. Once you've got that implemented and you've got your number verified, you'll then go into the actual setup and configuration onto the 3CX um, part of it. Now, uh, one of the great things about the 3CX WhatsApp integration is it's as simple as adding a SIP trunk. You are just going to copy the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business accounts ID into the 3CX SIP setup, and there it is. You will then go back through... Um, 3CX will generate a WhatsApp uh, webhook code for you. And once you've got that access token um, implemented here, uh, your 3CX WhatsApp account has been set up and you can start testing it. Um, it's important to note that on the 3CX side, the routing works the exact same way as any of the other routing where you will be able to route a particular call to a particular um, group. So every single WhatsApp number that you will do, you'll create your own application for, similar to this 3CX WhatsApp that we've just created here, and that will then route through uh, the same way that a SIP trunk does through to the contact center, um, or a particular person, or a particular uh, group, or queue. Um, that's entirely up to you, and the, the choices are quite endless on that aspect. Um, the further feature rich of the 3CX WhatsApp integration side of it, um, sorry, just to get back onto our 36 WhatsApp side of it, is you can add multiple numbers um, through to a singular account. So if you had multiple uh, contact numbers, uh, for example, we have four, the Johannesburg branch, the Cape Town branch, the Durban branch, as well as the Namibia branch, you can add multiple of those numbers into a singular app. Um, however, all of those will still follow the same rule. Um, that's in a nutshell, the effectiveness of setting up your 3CX WhatsApp integration side of it. Um, if there are any questions, please just feel free to post them in the chat, and I definitely will get um, back to you uh, if you have anything on it. Um, you can then go through and you can actually see the quality of your particular phone number from the 3CX WhatsApp manager. Um, you can see the quality rating. The higher your quality rating, the more messages you're going to be able to send. Um, by default, you're limited to 250 messages per day. Uh, once you've, uh, once Facebook's verified your accounts as well as improved your quality rating, that number is going to substantially increase and you're going to be upwards of 1,000 
uh, customer engagements per day, which we're currently sitting at with this particular number for the demonstration. Um, the rest of the, the aspects, such as the certificates and everything, that Facebook communicates directly through to your 3CX PBX server. Um, and I know that is a little bit technical, but that's nothing that you need to worry about. You can, of course, download the certificates further through to it as well if you wanted to. Um, further to that, the 3CX uh, WhatsApp QR code that you can actually implement as well, you can also download from here. So here you can set up everything from your WhatsApp business name that you'd like it to uh, portray further out. Uh, so you can have it display particular product IDs, you can upload product catalogs IDs to it as well. Um, and you can choose a couple message links that you'd like to, to create here. So here you can create a message for users to edit and send, or you can have just a little bit of profile um, aspects through to it, such as your address, your email addresses, uh, all of this will be visible on the WhatsApp platform itself to the end user. So as long as they've got your contact details, they can go into your profile, they can actually click your mail link, or they can click the chat link, or they can click your address link um, if you have a storefront, and it'll then open up the relevant application, whether it be Maps or whether it be the Outlook or their mail client, um, to send your mail or, or come visit you in your storefront. You can also advertise your um, website there. You can add your website link, such as what we've done here, um, allowing customers then just to go into your website or possibly your e-commerce store to, to make a, a, a purchase there. Um, and this is effectively what will be displayed on the WhatsApp number. So this allows you to do various marketing activities through to it and give you a little bit of insight into your actual WhatsApp business API side of it that you can currently see how to get it. Um, and it, it's relatively simple to set up. That is it for the 3CX WhatsApp integration side of it. Uh, if there are, if you do have an existing PBX with us and you would like the 3CX WhatsApp integration set up on your PBX um, and you have a number, um, we're actually able to do it with VoIP numbers currently as well. Um, so if you're with us on a SIP service, we can utilize one of your existing VoIP numbers. If you'd like it set up for your cell phone number, we can definitely work with you to have it set up and create the application necessary for us to be able to link that into your 3CX chat functionality. Um, if you'd like any of those um, features and you are currently with us, please just send us a mail on support at multi.co.za um, and we'll definitely work with you to, to get that set up for you. Um, and that is the 3CX WhatsApp and chat integration functionality uh, webinar in a nutshell. If there's any questions, please just let me know and I'll definitely uh, answer them as best as I can. Great. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate you attending the webinar. The recording will be made available on YouTube as well. Um, and we will certainly uh, share that out onto our social channel platforms and our business uh, channel platforms. Thank you once again and have a great day further.